Michael J, a.k.a. Swifty. Glad you could join us. Sit back. Sit tight. Relax and get comfortable. Enjoy the ride. Good day, folks. Michael J. here. So listen, we're going to start off with the uh, a look at the Italian DDs. And uh, Flamu's going to, uh, he does a great presentation. He goes into great detail. So we're going to showcase Flamu here. So the Italian DDs and Atlantico. So enjoy questions, throw in comment, chat. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, folks. Von Buda, thank you for the 13 months. Curtatone. Is that how you pronounce it? Curtatone? Curtatone. Curtatone. You never know. Or it could be like Curtatone. Calzone. Curtatone. The Calzona. Okay. Um, entered service 1923. The first ser series of Italian destroyers to be designed and built after World War One. An outstanding feature of the ship was the placement of their guns in twin mounts. An outstanding feature. Okay, show me that outstanding feature. 102 millimeter guns, Jesus. And these things had H and Sep only. I wonder how much sap will smash at low tier. 6 km torps, slow as sin. 5.8 km main battery. Oh yeah, that was the gimmick on this thing, wasn't it? Holy shit. I think this can actually be pretty hilarious at low tier. 5.8 km conceal, are you kidding me? You're gonna be able to like dip in, shoot, and disengage, dip in, shoot, and disengage, and the other dudes are gonna be so confused. Like, how is he getting undetected all the time? And that's because uh, the bloom range is so low. Hmm, 32 knots though. So this is an outstanding feature. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. It kind of looks like a trawler, a fishing trawler that they slapped the turret on. Two turrets, one turret front, one turret back. Interesting. This ship looks old, that's for sure. The steering wheel alone. Wait, there's, there's no... Wait, this is an open water steering wheel. There's no, like... Wait, what the hell is this thing? Is this for the torps? It must be for the torps, right, or something. Wait, what is this thing, chat? Who knows? Someone knows. What is this? Because, I mean, they do have a bridge here where, where, they, the, where they actually steer the ship. So what the hell is this? Secondary steering station. Really? Backup steering wheel. Imagine having to be the dude in the middle of combat to run here and steer the ship. Emergency steering. That's pretty cool. Well, art department once again. Amazing. Mild surprise. And then we have the. Okay, why did go to the French tree? In Sauro. Entered service 1926R. What does R mean? 1926R. A series of destroyers that stood apart from their predecessors by carrying a more powerful armament comprising 122mm guns and 533mm torpedo tubes. Roughly. Oh, 126 rough, uh, 1926 roughly. <laughs> that just sounds, uh, that sounds questionable. I feel like I'm pretty sure they know when they they said that thing engine service. I don't know about that. One. It's a Russian G. It stands for Godi in a year. Interesting. Okay. Okay. You right. Go to equipment. Double click. Has to, you have to be really slow so the UI can keep up. Sap once again, 2.6k alpha, 10k health. 
8 cam torps slow as sim 6.1 cam range man this range is gonna be so hilarious 35 knots and we get exhaust smoke consumable action time 25 seconds and it's full speed full speed exhaust smoke I feel like these are gonna be pretty hard to take down because like you just you break you read you sail out a 6.1 km and you go dark or you pop your exhaust smoke and you go dark like the ways to disengage are, are plenty pick an Italian ship in port so it will come out to, in the Italian tech tree when you click it ah smart smart hmm okay the turrets are a bit more protected now Central torque tubes again. These life boats looks look look more like pleasure boats. Or no, this is when it's different. This is like for the captain to visit other ships or something. This is the fancy one, and then this is for the crew. Back turret elevated. You'd you'd assume this would have really good firing angles, right? This turret. Depends on how these wires are gonna mess with it. Depends on how badly these wires are gonna mess with it. But you'd assume this turret would have incredible firing angles. Oh, are these rangefinders for aiming the torpedoes? I assume they are. For lining up the torps. So you have to climb up here to, to line them up. Jesus. Everywhere you want to do something on the ship, you have to climb up. You climb up here, you climb up here, you climb up here, you climb up here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's select an Italian ship. So I can I go to the right part of the port. Where's an Italian ship? Hello? Italy? There we go, Colombo. Okay, now we got take trip. Turbine. Turbine. Entered service 1927. A further development of the Sauro class destroyers, unlike their predecessors, these ships were bigger in size and more durable. Okay. 2.6 alpha, still the same on the sap. 10.9k health. Mm, Torps getting a bit more damage, but still only. Well, they're 8k range, I guess. 6.2. What main battery firing? 30, ball 33. This thing is slow. Exhaust smoke again. I feel like, the, I mean, these things are going to be really nasty at low tier because, like, people don't have a lot of hydro and people don't in general know how to really deal with this shit at low tier. Im imagine you can just run at DDs. Like, you get spotted very late. And then you run at them with exhaust smoke for 25 seconds, and then you smash them with torpedoes. They don't hit that hard though, you only got 6, but they don't have a lot of health pull at that tier either, and not a lot of torpedo belt either. I feel like this is going to be really strong YOLO ship low tier. CV spotting could be huge, absolutely, but that's kind of why you have the exhaust smoke. I don't know, it's, this is one of those lines I have no idea how it will play. Same looking turrets. This looks very... Wait, this thing looks almost identical. Just, they, they put like some leather coating on this part here. That's the only difference. Like, okay, so the guys were complaining about being drenched all the time, so we put a little bit of leather hides to, to keep them warm. That, that's literally the only difference I see in the turbine. <laughs> looks like the same ship, otherwise. This turret should have good firing angles. Should. It depends on what they've done with this thing here. Maestrale, Tier 5 destroyer, enter service 1934. A series of destroyers that exerted substantial influence on the development of the ship type in the Italian Navy. Among their key features were high running speed, more sophisticated main battery, and access to anti submarine armament. Oh boy. Hmm. 
2850 sample. 13.4k health. It has as many ASW mounts as it has AA mounts. Hmm. 65 second reload. You're doing 9k a pop per torp now, and 10k in torps as well. These are slow, but I'd say they're usable. You build a bit of bit of AR kicking in, and you're launching torps every one minute easily. Sap guns. They have sap and HE. Range 6.4. 38, 38 at tier 5. 38 at tier 5. With a speed flag? That's 40 knots. That's no joke. You're doing at tier 5, you're doing 40 knots with a 30 second exhaust smoke. No speed boost, no. But. Like, imagine most of the tier 5 battleships in the game, how slow they are. Someone mentioned New York, that ship does 22 knots. Or it's, no, it's less than that, with flag. Like, most of the ships, like, Ismail stands out, it does, like, what, 28 knots? But most of them do, are really, really slow. And this thing comes with great concealment and great speed, pops exhaust smoke, rushes at you. I mean, by the time you've turned your ship around, he's already point blank and dropping torps. How many torps does he have? But this can be kind of scary, I feel. See, torps are, well, it's six. What was it, 9k a pop? I think it was 9k a pop. It's still gonna hurt. It's still gonna hurt, though. 45k alpha, right? Oh, sorry, it was six. You're right, 654. I counted with uh, five, like name. 54k max. I mean, torp belt's usually about 20% reduction on that. It's it's still gonna smash, I feel. Because you can you can probably also shoot your sap as you're closing in, to some extent. We'll see. The turrets got a ton smaller. We went from these really wide turrets. This thing looks much more sleek. This thing looks much more like a purpose-built war boat, or, or, or a warship. It looks like a much more purpose-built warship compared to the earlier ones that kind of looked like fishing trawlers that they had slapped uh, turrets on. This thing actually looks really sleek. Again, with the elevated back turret. Oh, th this, this looks kind of sketchy though. Is that where they store the ammunition? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Really? Is that how they store the ammunition? That looks really sketch. <laughs> that looks like a detonation waiting to happen right there. I'm not sure about that one, boys. I'm not sure about this storage decision here, but... That's the AA ammo? <laughs> I mean, I don't care what ammo it is, it's still a pretty sketch place to store it. Still, I, I really want to see what the firing angles are. I feel like with this elevated back turrets, the forward firing angles should be really strong. The torpedo tube angles should also be really strong. I don't see anything stopping these torps from not swinging forward to a pretty extreme angle. This, this lifeboat might block one tube a bit, but... I'm expecting to see some pretty strong torpedo angles here. Remains to be seen. <coughs> Gucci leather will protect you guys. <laughs> Aviere. Entered service 1937. The ship belonged to the Soldati class, one of the most successful destroyer classes in the Regia Marina. Uh, owing to their increased size, the ships of this series could carry five main battery guns. Oh my, oh my. 1937. What was it? How many ships was that? Ships in a series 19. They made a lot of these then. Why is it going to reload 2850? 120mm guns. Wait. 50 unsold the model 1937 on model 1937, model 1940 mounts. What? Huh? Okay, someone will explain that to me in like YouTube comments or something. What the hell they're trying to say here. I guess it's a two different mounts. Like there's the old 1937 double mounts, and then there's maybe the new 1940 mount. For the single turret or something? I don't know. That's just a guess. 14.3k health. 70 second reload. 10k. Flat 10k. 
That's the most we decided to input this value I've ever seen. Flat out 10k torps, easy to remember. 56 knots, slow as sin. 6.7k range, 38 knots of speed. We got the exhaust smoke. Damage, I want once again, it shoots sap and HE. 34 millimeter pen though. I mean, the, the thing with these DDs is that this sap is, you're, you're going to be smashing like battleships with it. You're going to be smashing everything you can farm, you're going to be smashing with it. The problem is, the range will greatly limit the effectiveness, that's the big issue. But initial velocity 950 and armor pen 34 is, is insane for this tier. Like, they're short range railguns. I don't, I don't really understand how they're going to model it, because they, they should be insanely fast, but then they only have 6.7 game range, so they should, they should go like, whoosh, blop. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really see it. We'll see. We'll see, how, we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works, but like, these looks like, these look like potential damage farmers, like AFT or something, right? you could join us sit back sit tight relax and get comfortable enjoy the ride Check, check, check. Okay, we got something there now. Michael J, aka Swifty, glad you could join us. Right? But even then, even with AFT, it's percentage based. So you're adding 20% to this. Okay, so, so hopefully like we got some audio. Images. If there's no audio, please it's let me know in chat. With AFT. It's 20%. So it's like, hmm. You don't want to fight these things with other DDs. That's what I'm thinking as well. Like, this is the ship you don't want to fight in another destroyer. This looks like DD bully big time. Okay, ship gets even sleeker looking. Really starting to look like a warship here. Getting the nice Italian colors on it. We got six torpedo tubes, 10k pop. Well, here's the forward firing. See, 
I really want to see the firing angles. Questionable, questionable storage of ammunition once again. And here's the ASW launchers. What are these things, Jet? What are these? Hmm. Paravanas? Mine sweeping gear? Paravanas? How do they work? Do they like send them out wide like this and then you they drag them with like a wire or something until they snag on? Ah, yeah, yeah, I could see it. They snag on to the mine and then they arm it. Yeah, 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 that could see. Is that an old school sonar? Paravan. You troll it. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's mine sweeping. Exactly. Yeah, it works exactly as I thought. You, you dump you dump it in the water with a wire attached and then you then you like just pull them along until they snag on to mines interesting alternatively I guess you can snag on to a mm, submarine as well they kind of fly on that wing hmm pretty cool still I'm curious about the firing angles here I'm curious about the firing angles Because, like, these things, I feel like these things are gonna fall and rise and fall depending on what kind of firing angles they have. Because the short range is so short, you need to be able to do a lot of damage on the enemy DD as you're closing the distance and chasing them. Because if you have to turn your ship around to get your guns and the other guy can disengage, then your short range is gonna be a huge disadvantage. So, remains to be seen. El Tarigo. Hmm. We went from a 1937 to 1929. Entered service 1929. The Navigatori class destroyers were a series of large warships with an unconventional layout design. Initially classed as Esploratori or Scouts. <laughs> Explore. It is Esploratori. These ships were built for the Regia Marina in response to the large French Contre Torpilleurs. Are they some sort of scouts as well or what? I don't actually remember what French ships those were. <laughs> Faux pas. <sighs> Thank you, Tanganisla, for the lemon months. Really big deal, is right? 120 millimeter Ansaldo model 1926 and model 1926 mount. Okay. Luca Tarigo. Oh, I think I've seen a Disney movie with this guy. Okay. 10 cam torps again. 6.8 cam range. Oof. Hmm. Kleber, etc. were mentioned. Ah. Basically destroyer leader type of ships then, I guess. Sleek looking. Oh, it's got the little... Little, little hat. It's got a little cute hat. Oh, I can't take this DD seriously now because of that little hat. Look how happy he looks with the, with the big hat on his head. <laughs> I mean, these are very fashionable. You got the Gucci leather and the stylish hat. You, you can tell these are Italian. Italian DDs for sure. A bit of art on the smokestack. More destroyer hunters, fair enough. These are triple torps. Wait, is it, it's two sets of triple torps. wonder if, what the firing angles are going to be. It looks pretty, pretty cramped in here. I'm not expecting that good of firing angles on these. The ship looks so wide and it looks so cramped. I'm reckoning the firing angles are probably going to be pretty poor. In fact, I wonder if they can even shoot over this fence. In fact, looking at the gaps in the fence, you see the gaps in the fence? I'm thinking that this is going to be the torpedo angle. This right here. And I think that's going to be junk. That looks really junk. Like, even if they tried to launch like this, they would like 
the risk of clipping the deck or something with the torps. I think th I think this these gaps you can see them on, on the side both torp tubes. I think these are the angles. That's gonna be really jank. Look how luxurious the rescue boat is. Yeah, I mean this is for the crew for sure. This is for this is for the captain. He goes on his cruise. Got got the hookers downstairs and everything. Searchlight on top. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, not necessarily searchlight, but the uh, signal light. Looks like a signal light, actually. Is that the AA? Man, those are some old school LMGs as as AA. Holy shit! You see that? Are these are also ASW systems? Because he, he, they got ASW back here. What exactly are these? Maybe it is a searchlight. These are also ASW? Uh, sure, it's, it could be smoke. I mean, it looks like launchers of something. I'm not sure what they're launching though. Maybe they, they can probably launch a lot of things to be fair. Hmm. Pretty st stylish looking ship with all the hats on the turrets. Truly. That was uh, Luca. Now we got Cunibert. Uh, 1943, a project of a destroyer that was intended to be a further development of the Maestrale class, but equipped with stronger artillery and torpedo armament. Okay. Okay, my fiance clearly woke up because she's playing with my knights. Okay, you can see that the compressed air tanks on top of these, these are discharge catapults. Okay, interesting. 120 mm 1931 guns, 4 second reload, 2850, okay. 16.7k health. Hmm. With no heal or anything, we do get speed boost now. It looks like, oh, it's a special speed boost as well. This is going to be interesting. The dorps aren't really scaling very, very well. This guy can fight tier 10 ships now. And he's got torpedoes that deal, I think, less damage than Holland dorps. But only go 56 knots. Hmm. Questionable. 7.1 came range with AFT 9.5? No, 8.5. Sorry, my bad. 8.5. 39 knots with speed flag and what is this? Twi oh shit. It only lasts. This this thing is gonna be nasty for the Yolos. Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. Twenty five. Let's see. Thirty nine. Plus speed boost plus plus flag. Fifty one point two knots. Fifty one point two knots. At tier eight. Holy shit. This thing comes at you, running at you with sap ready. Jesus. Be here, thank you for the 18 months, my dude. That's kind of terrifying. He, he starts smashing you with sap, then you smoke, then he pops his exhaust smoke and just runs away. Or rushes at you, honestly. I don't know which one. Probably runs away, I guess, but Jesus. Hmm. Oh, look at this forward setup, though. This thing comes at you with sap loaded. Oh, shit. Very high for a DD, though. No hats, indeed, Sanj. Oh, it's quadruple torp launchers as well. It's quadruple launchers. Can't tell what the angles are. I assume they're going to be pretty shit. Maybe a bit better than the earlier ones. Six guns, quadruple launchers. Dual forms of uh, ASW again. 
For those wondering what are these rail looking things, uh, this is from mine lane. They would literally, let's see if, are there any mines here? No, but you can kind of, you can kind of see here, this, this looks like uh, transports for the mines. But these kind of rails were used for mine laying. They would put, they would put the mine on top of these carts. I'm not sure. These look really weird, though. This is a different design than I've ever seen. It looks like tubes almost. But basically, mines were so heavy. Dude, maybe they loaded the torps using them. Because this doesn't look like a mine lane. Because I've been on a ship that has like mine, mine lane capacity. And this doesn't look like it at all. The cart doesn't look similar. I've been on a Finnish one. Uh, mm, mm, shit, what, what were they called, the two? Oh shit, what were they called, the two? The boats. Fuck, I don't remember. Uh, there's there's like two, bo two boats in Turku, in Obu. Uh, and I want to uh, this is the both shit. I don't remember what it was called now. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Okay, let's see. Fuck, did I post pics of those? I thought I did. Mm. God damn it. But uh, I saw the similar looking like mine laying setups like this. And... Uh, and uh, they look like just those. But I guess in the past they could have been used for different things for sure. Mm, let's see, kind of fun. See here, I think. Yeah, here. See, I visited these guys. These are Finnish ships. I visited these guys. These are Finnish ships. Uh, what what were they called? Tykkäväni Karjala, Minilaiva, Kesalmi, and uh, these used these little carts for the mines. Like you see, you see these rail railways or these rails. And they would load the mines on top of them, and then they would dump them into dump them into the water through that. Okay, that was shit. I didn't have any other pictures of. Shit. There you can kind of see like rails. They would load them on, and then like m mine up stuff using that. Hmm. Okay, yes, sell me. Yep. Looks similar, but I guess I guess they use it for loading, but. Really? No, I didn't know that. Wait. But I don't understand. Why does it go all the way down like this into the water? If it's it's got to be multi-purpose. Someone will, someone on YouTube will tell me what exactly. I I could see them being used when they go to port for loading like the torpedoes. I could maybe see it for that, but it doesn't extend all the way here, so that doesn't make any sense. It's weird. It's got to be for me, my lane. I, I don't understand what, what else it could, like, loading the torpedoes could work, but it doesn't extend all the way here anyway. Like, I don't get it. The longer rails, the more you can carry. Mines, yes. But like, I don't know. I would assume this is my lane, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. They're cranes? Yeah, I can see cranes here. Used for loading, I assume, the mines. Or loading the torpedoes as well. Oh. These, these would be packed with mines? That's what I'm thinking as well. Cool looking ship though. Kind of terrifying though, because of the speed. If you got quadruple torps, that's 80k potential. 
and it comes at you, what was it, 51.2 knots of speed and exhaust smoke. Scary YOLO ships. Very scary YOLO ships. I'm a bit worried that these are going to be another set of ships that will heavily discourage aggressive play. Because <laughs> how do you push in with... It's like Polo Emilio. If the enemy has Polo Emilio, you have to play very careful. Because if you push in anywhere, you will get YOLO smashed. Can you show the armor? Can I actually show the armor? Oh, I can. I'm an idiot. Anything special? No, it's standard 90mm plating across the bar. Standard. I assume all the other ones were just very standard so far. We'll see if it stands out in any way on the higher tier, but so far, standard. ATK potential can't YOLO? No. Can YOLO? No, it can't YOLO. Not full HP ships. Not full HP battleships. Interesting. Let's see, and then we have Adriatico, tier 9. Year of design, 1945. A large, well-armed ship that was in many re respects similar to Soviet flotilla leader Tashkent that had been built in Italy. The ship could boast of having increased firepower that was achieved in part by moving to the use of 135mm main battery guns. Okay. <laughs> six second reload. We went from four to six. That's a bit quite questionable because the deep, well, the deep end went from two, two eight fifty to three fifty, but we didn't go from four second reload to six. Hmm. Twenty one point eight k health. That's pretty strong for tier nine. Twelve six six seven torps. Okay, so we regain some alpha. Let's see how many we have. Do we have a nine like standard Tashkent? 8.5 km range. Okay, with AFT we break 10 km range now. 39 knots. Okay, so this one does 51.2 with speed as well. 40 second exhaust smoke. 6 of both though. I feel, feel like this. there's a lot of opportunities for hit and run kind of shit with this. Like you, you dive in, you drop towards whatever, you gun someone a bit, and then you disengage. You can do it multiple times. Like you got, they, they gave you plenty of consumables to play with. EFT sense looks such a heavy point investment. Yeah, but you're not going to run survival, uh, superintendent on this. There's no need. No reason to, in fact. Could also YOLO death charge subs, maybe. Oh, this thing looks very modern. Oh my. Interesting. Funky looking turrets. I kind of don't like them. They look really stubby somehow. Double hat, Pog. <laughs> Double hat. And uh, some hay bales here at the front in case they get hungry. Okay, I actually don't know what those are. Interesting. Very modern looking superstructure. Looks very Cold War because of the rounded shapes. Ropes? Yeah, I know. Hmm. So, what is that AA? That's AA guns. They got, he's got a fair few of them. There's the torp tubes. They are quadruples. Two quadruples. Okay, so eight, not nine. This is a very different looking Tashkin. Interesting. And a turret in the back. Death charges at the very stern. Same mine rails, and I guess just loading rails here as well. This looks, they look quite protected, yes, I agree. The drop tubes look quite protected, maybe HE, I don't know. I, I don't know how, I don't think Wargaming has modeled, like, protection very well when it comes to protecting modules. Like, HE shells, when an HE shell hits, uh, the, the splash radius isn't actually round, it's literally a square. It's a square, a box that explodes when a shell hits, and everything within that box has a chance to get smashed. 
So uh, the modeling is very archaic, so to say. So I don't know how well protected these tubes actually will be. Visually, it looks cool, though. I will say visually, this thing looks really sleek. Cool looking destroyer, like very detailed and art department once again, putting in their A work. Still only 19, still only 19. Turrets are pretty chunky actually. Whoa, 60 millimeters nose plating on the turrets. That's quite a lot for uh, destroyer. This will be quite resistant to being knocked out by HE from other DDs then. Generally, like, low tier turrets are not tanky at all. Like, they don't have any armor. So this is going to shatter a fair... Basically, most DDHE is going to be shattered on this. That's also less damage taken. Because you don't hit the 10% the damage that you get when they hit the turrets. It's 19 millimeters now. HE Splash has a cylinder rounded base, vertical sides, instead of a spear. Oh, it's like that? I remember it being a square for a really long time. <coughs> Let's see. Torp Explosion is a cube. Oh, that thing is a cube. Oh, is that how it went? Okay, my bad, man. A Regola. Entered service 1942. Initially classified as light cruisers, the Capitani Romani class ships essentially occupy an intermediate position between destroyers and cruisers. Their artillery is composed of 835mm dual purpose guns. Okay. Regola. 5 second reload, 350. Didn't, this thing got buffed quite recently to some really, really high DPM. I think this one did over 300,000 sap DPM. Real ship, yes. A real tier 10 is a rare sight, it really is. I think this thing, this thing got really high. That was the Sherman, oh that was the Sherman. Shit, you're right, that was the Sherman. That was the Sherman that got buffed to some really high numbers. Interesting. 26.8. So with survivability expert, you do break 30k in this thing. That's quite a bit of health, to be fair, for a destroyer. This one already had a 300k sap DPM. Quite a scary thing to run into. Okay, 13.5 torps, 13.9k alpha, 56 knots. The speed is pretty oof, but range and alpha is pretty nice. The cooldown 90 seconds now. Hmm. 8.5 km range. AFT. 10 km. We're breaking with a 10 point something. 49. 41. Sorry. 41. 41. This thing with speed boost and is 25%? Yes. This thing does 53.8 knots. 53.8 knots with everything active. Hmm. 8.5, like this, this is gonna be like, I feel like this thing is gonna be a victim of matchmaking to some extent. The more radars, the rougher your experience. The more the CB, the more competent the CB, the rougher your experience. Hmm. I feel like Sansonetti first blood is mandatory on this thing to get the extra range, AFT as well. We'll see, we'll see. It might be terrifying to run into because of the health pull. This thing looks like a cruiser though. Let's be honest, this thing looks like a cruiser. <laughs> like objectively looks like a cruiser. Holy shit, that's a lot of chunkiness. First blood, Sansanetti. Yeah, well, not first blood, but just a kill really quick. Run and catch some DD pushing into a cap and smash him. This thing has double hats as well. These 
What are these guns? Some AA guns? A lot of, a lot of AA here. Wonder if we'll actually have any continuous AA or not. Questionable. These are supposed to be dual purpose as well. But didn't they quote historical accuracy in something? What was they, they quoted? They nerfed the Paolo Emilia, didn't they? They actually quoted, imagine, imagine, shit, that was so hilarious. Mm, shit. Other than that, they quite recently. Then they did say something really dumb. Can someone link me that thing? They, they nerfed the Paolo Emilio quoting, uh, he, they nerfed the Paolo Emilio AA quoting historical accuracy. Me, meanwhile, you got the Paolo Emilio's being smashed by Nakimov and Wargaming is like, yeah, the issue I have here is that the Paolo Emilio actually shot down two planes, I don't like that. Uh, we're gonna quote historical accuracy and nerf the <laughs> AA. Like, I'm sorry, what? They actually said that. And it, it was so baffling to me. Uh, they could have literally used any other excuse, but they used, used historical accuracy in World of Warships. Like, they've just an, released Soviet carriers. And they, they quote historical accuracy to nerf Paolo Emilio AA. It was, can someone link me that? Surely someone can find that. It was hilarious. Father was absolutely hilarious. I mean, if historical accuracy was any sort of standard in this game, the Soviet tech tree would literally stop at tier 4. With a sprinkle of something like Tashkent, yeah. Like the ships they had weren't even built there. Angles on those torps are going to be junk. I'm looking at the same thing. They're very protected, but like, there's no way this torp can launch forward in any way. This is going to be the worst angle ever on both sides. It's actually going to be the worst angle ever on both sides. So Yolong is going to be brutal. Also, it's quadruples, so eight in total. Not that strong of a Yolo then. Oops, no, shit, I want to look at the armor. Does it get anything? No, standard DD armor. Standard DD armor, no Paolo Emilio armor here. No additional plating like Paolo does. Just 19 millimeter across the board. Interesting. Hmm. That's a bit surprising to me. But that's what they've gone with. Interesting. A lot of superstructure as well. We'll see how this thing plays. Hmm. The range is questionable. To, like a lot of things are questionable, but the conceal is strong and the consumables in, in good hands might be powerful. But. Yeah, the, 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 I don't know. It's it seems like rough. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a tough experience. FR twenty five, a Gepard class destroyer, originally built for the needs of the French Navy. The air guns were replaced with Italian made ones. Oh boy, why would you do that? This is going to be such a feast and famine line. That's what I'm thinking as well. Six point six second shoot sap. Wait, 139 millimeter French guns, but they shoot sap instead of AP. The one thing that made it, makes the French guns good is generally the AP pen. So let's replace by sap now. Uh, no reload booster. 19k health at tier seven. That's pretty nice. Oh shit! Wait, it gets it gets exhaust smoke. 30 second exhaust smoke, and really hard hitting fast torpedoes. Holy shit! Is this a little Polo Emilia tier seven? French torpedoes, 
good firing range actually 12.7 you can build this really obscene but if this is anything like vacuolin guns these actually look like the night i think these are the vacuolin guns uh then the, the ballistics are gonna be junk at range 36 knots it's not that fast but it's got 30 seconds of exhaust smoke to close the distance with hmm I think the, tur the firepower on the ship is going to be questionable at best with that reload and only four guns. But we have six hard hitting French torps and a smoke to close the distance with. Hmm. Potentially decent YOLO ship. It is tier 7, you gotta remember. And game changes they mentioned in Earth. Do they really? That changes. Oh, here. Italian destroyer Paolo Emilia. Historically, these guns were not dual purpose. Therefore, the ship's main battery will no longer be included in her AI defenses. <laughs> yeah. The maximum AI firing range reduced from 4.62 kilometers. <laughs> Historically. <laughs> oh my god. Historically. <laughs> like the AI was already sad, and now it's tragic. <laughs> 2k on AA. Historically. Imagine using historically. Like. <laughs> like. Dude. It's. Historically, by the way. Wargaming, historically. By the way. Incredibly thin armor. I didn't realize this game was was built on a historical accuracy. Uh, give me a second while I take my Immelman and Kurfurst and Elving and the, everything basically here out for a spin. Don't don't mind me. Historically accurate, by the way. Fucking Lamau. I swear they could have used any argument they wanted, but they used. They, suddenly they decided that historical accuracy was so important that they had to nerf this premium. Wait, what did the Atlantico description say? Year of design, 1945. A project of a battleship equipped with British-made 381mm guns, main guns, and American dual-purpose AA artillery. Okay, so this was the one that had only AP. It shot only AP, and it shot AP with improved penetration angles. Battleship AP with improved penetration angles. And uh, it also had really accurate long-range secondaries, I think. This was a real gimmick, gimmick machine. So 381's 28 second reload. 60.1k health, okay. Secondary is 18, yeah, those are the, those are two, three, four millimeter secondaries and so far. 17.4k range. It was pretty slow, 25 knots. Okay, so now the thing is, Armor will decide very much how broken the ship. Oh yeah, it had Hydro as well. It got 5k Hydro on top of all of this. So it had improved British 381mm guns with improved pen angles, secondaries with great range and improved dispersion, and really high caliber secondaries. And it got 5k Hydro as well. Standard heal. And now the question is, what exactly does the armor look like? Okay, first let's look at the ship, it's, whoa, that's, what an AA battery in the front, man. A lot of small AA on top, so many AA, holy shit, look at this AA, didn't this thing had American AA? I think it had American AA, you can tell. The American doctrine of, if there's empty space on the deck, slap an AA gun on it, is very much in effect here. Holy shit, look at this secondaries. Look at this secondaries. These are the two, three, four millimeter guns. Oh, did it have short fuse as well? And here's a AA everywhere and secondary is... Wait, these... Oh no, these are... My bad. These aren't the 234s. These are the 234s. These are the 234mm secondaries. My bad. <laughs> these are, I think, 127s. And these are the 234s or something. 
How did you miss this? I, I'm not sure. I don't. I was tunnel visioning on the superstructure. I don't know how I missed these things. Holy shit! This is a lot of turrets. You never mess with me and my little brother again. Even here, like even here, there's a a a like some. <laughs> there was this little empty spot. What is that? I think that's some. So that's at least some sort of targeting system, right? And then here we have more AA. Interesting. What are these barrels? Chat, what are these barrels? You can see like something's been spilled over here and then you got a barrel here. What are these? I'm curious. Anchor pulling? Bro, this is so many guns. This 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 thing looks absurd. It's so many guns. And it had improved range, dispersion. Holy shit. Okay, so the question is, well this turret is gonna suck to shoot forward, that's for sure. Could be de could be decent angles kythic backwards though. Now the question is Is the armor shit? Wait, what the hell are these? What the shit are these? Are these like some sort of targeting things for the secondaries? Is that why the, it has such accurate secondaries? Jesus. Okay, let's see it. Drum roll, drum roll, rangefinders. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, hold on. What? Wait, what? This thing isn't squishy at all. I thought it was going to be squishy, but what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, what? This is just the outer layer. It's not exposed citadel either. Holy shit! 51 millimeter deck armor? What? 51 millimeter deck armor? Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's a lot of that's a lot of plating. That's a lot of fucking plating. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I thought this thing was gonna be vulnerable because it had so many guns and so many gimmicks, but I I guess not. Maybe the citadel is gigantic or something? Wait! Is that <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that a turtle neck? It's fucking underwater as well. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? So this is the citadel itself is 51 millimeters of plating and then on the outer layer you have this yeah, 51, wait, what the fuck, 51, this is sloped 51, and the outer is like 356, that's a lot of fucking armor. It's a lot of fucking armor, and the citadel itself, isn't it like completely, wait, hold on, it's like, it's fucking underwater. Dude, I, I don't want to fight this thing ever, are you fucking shitting me? The citadel is literally underwater. What the? Look, this. You can literally see the water like splashing. This is like so far underwater. I don't know if you can even reach now. And the deck armor is <laughs> 90 millimeters. You're never gonna citadel this thing. What the fuck? Hello? Are you shitting me? What the hell? Bro. Bro. Imagine having to fight this piece of shit.
Like, can even AP Bomber Citadel this thing? Because they're gonna have to punch through all of this, which is already 51, which is gonna arm it. And then have to reach all the way down here. I don't think they can. Yeah, 25. Jesus. Holy shit. This thing, <laughs> this thing looks hilarious. Are you kidding me? Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, what the f What is this? Look, like, look at the guns. Imagine the shitstorm when you try to fight this thing. Holy shit. And it's got six. Didn't it have 60k health? Wait, maybe I hallucinated or something. Hello? 60.1k health. What? Turret citadel a little bit more vulnerable. No, you can't citadel turrets. That's not how it works. 28 second reload. 17.4. Jesus. It's got American DCP as well, the 20 second. Jesus. Oh, secondary is overmatch royal <laughs> cruisers, but <laughs> it's HE though. It's HE. You can't see that other. Wait, I I want to look at the de now that that wait. I want to look at the dev blog on this thing. Cause hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh let's see. Wow, Atlantic. <coughs> let's see. Which which dev blog was it? Mm, new ships here, 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 here. here this Atlantic. This thing looks so fucking absurd. Here it is, here it is. Okay, 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 okay. What? Like Atlantico. Now that we know that the armor is hilarious, so... Armed with 10 381mm guns and 5 twin turrets, the ship is equipped with only with armor-piercing project class with improved ricochet and firing threshold. So it's got a lower firing uh, arming threshold, which means the shells arm faster. That's a good thing. It also boasts long-range secondary armament of a solid caliber, 1027. These are these are these, and 16 234 mm guns with a base range of 7.5. So you can reach what this 11.5 range with those secondaries. In addition to the standard, the ship is equipped with the hydroacoustic side. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, 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 wait! This is what. Sigma 1.8 as well. Sigma is 1.8. Shell velocity is fine. Chance to cause fire. Oh yeah, this is what I was looking at. Look at this. The chance to cause fire. These deal 3.3k alpha and they got a 21% chance to cause fire. Hold, these, these have a higher fire chance than Zhao. These have a higher... Like, I'm pretty... Doesn't Zhao have 20 base? Or is it 19 days? This thing shoots these as secondary shells. <laughs> like, what the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? And they're so fast. 881. Holy shit. Oh, Zhao is 19% base. Okay, so these are just superior to Zhao's fire chance. Oh yeah, it's got very high continuous. 343, 356 for the tier 5 flank. Surface detect 14.7. <laughs> Wait, 14.7 times uh, camo module upgrade. 11.55. 11 6k surface conceal. <laughs> 11.6k. Wait, you can. Oh, this is the shift where you can push into secondary range, and the moment you're spotted, your secondaries start firing literal Zhao shells at the enemy. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Also, why is this? Why is this a thing? Smoke firing 13.4. I want to know 
I want to know what they were taking when they designed this ship cuz I want some cuz that is some po Okay folks looks like this ship is just a friggin OP the Atlantico tier 8 It's really weird the, you know they got the dockyard where you got to put money in for uh British uh, tier 10. And it's got crap armor. This thing at tier 8 is a monster. So what were they thinking? What was Wargaming thinking? So anyways, uh, just to let you know, experiencing some audio issues at the moment you should be able to hear me during the broadcast but you know it's a typical windows uh update uh, change everything on you and uh issue and uh usb uh, driver issues so the audio interface is doing a funky and uh after the broadcast you want to throw something in the uh, comment section and uh, listen, next Saturday is going to be Christmas. So uh, we'll be broadcasting next Saturday as well. Of course, why not? Spend our time together for Christmas. So I'm going to sign off. i got to sort out these audio issues. I appreciate everybody uh, being here today. And remember, stay safe. You are precious. Michael J. Love you. Take care, folks. Have a good day, and uh, we'll be back 10 a.m. tomorrow, New York time.